Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week, finally, I'm reacting to An Imposter Calls, the Among Us song by Stupendium and Dan Bull. Uh, yes, it's been a bit. I planned on releasing this the day that Stupendium released their new song. Uh, which is usually on a Friday, and I put out videos on a Friday. And they didn't put out one, so I didn't release this. And then they released a song on a Saturday. Cool. It's fine, you know, doesn't have to adhere to my schedule. It's, you know, they do what they want to do, obviously. Uh, so, and since that one was a Christmas song, I thought I better react to the Christmas song in time for the Christmas holiday, which is why that's what was up last week. And this week, Happy New Year, we're getting to this song finally. Um, and, uh, you know, if you like what you see here, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all those things that people do on the YouTubes with the buttons and the clicking and the bells and the stuff. Yeah. Um, you know. Watch a video and... Yes, before you ask, we're going to get to both endings. I didn't do that with the Harry 101 uh, video for uh, the Team Fortress 2 song because I didn't know until I had already recorded that it had an alternate ending on Harry's channel. This one I'm well aware. We've got two different endings, so we're going to go see both of them. Chill. All right, here we go. I need a simple logo like that. Just another day of duties on the scale. Slightly spooked by all the crew that we've expelled out the airlock, thinking that we're Sherlock, trying to ensure whatever is aboard us into hell. I, I appreciate the rhymes already with the name of the map, the Skeld, uh, which is not an actual word, I don't think. I think it's made something up. Or a Skeld could be a thing. I don't know. Dictionary.com, that crap. Uh, but uh, I appreciate that. That's a that's a good thing to base on. That's fun. Just another day of duties on the scale. Slightly spooked by all the crew that we've expelled out the airlock, thinking that we're Sherlock, trying to ensure whatever is aboard us into hell. Cause I'm a sneak into suspicion as a freak on the mission, and they're picking us up one by one. But with each wrong decision, we miss an ignition, and there isn't anywhere to run. <laughs> Wow. They're both so goddamn good. So speedy, so just the, the, the tempo and the meter and just the number of rhymes they shove into a sentence and through the bars and just it's 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 glory for the ears ah so good i also appreciate that each one's uh text color is the same as their outfit but if they did it would win for a nasty game and it crashed the killer has to be diligent because a slip of the mask could mean the difference between winning and getting evacuated we're trapped in a heated debate on who's a friend or foe will you be yeeted to space to know depends on the vote <laughs> will you be yeeted to space depends on the vote <laughs> that's a great line <laughs> Diligent, cause a slip of the mask could mean the difference between winning and getting evacuated. We're trapped in a heated debate on who's a friend or foe. Will you be heated to space to know? Depends on the vote. Now I'm losing faith in my crew. And I'm pulling in things at you. We're finding them gone, one by one, until we're finally down to two. I know that I've got nothing to prove. And so if you've been telling the truth, well, I'm placing my faith in the vacuum of space, cause it's facing without a clue. I hate to vent. It's subtle. And also the, the 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 props and the sets and the other like the two D parts of the set in the three D, but it's so good. It's production value. 
but simplistic and yet complex. I'm running out of words because they're using them all in the rapping. And also the hook always catches you. Nice. One magenta gent. Oh my god, that's great. And they just they eviscerate it with tentacles. And there are so many good lines in there, I can't talk about them all because they went by so fast. Ah, uh, going back and doing, and face your imminent fate is just. Both of them are so. Like putting Dan Bull and Stupendium in a song together, it's. Explosion of awesomeness. Just already. It's just. Too fantastic. My brain can't handle it. I can't handle it. I was in electrical and tracing all the wires. I know you're skeptical. I tell you, he just fires when I saw a flashing tentacle. The misery, the ventricles. So I'm a gentle gentle. Blue offensively retired. And blue offensively retired. Just that whole, that whole bar was so good. Ah. So I didn't do it. It was you, and I can prove it. Let's retrieve the CCTV. We will see the culprit while we view it. <laughs> oh, there's some guts in the bench. There has been a murder spree. Isn't it suspicious that no witnesses were there to see? Would you quit giving me the third degree? Refer to Green. Green's dead. It's bleeding heads in the infirmary. <laughs> we urgently need an emergency <laughs> meeting to determine what we should do. But everyone speaks a mutant. There's been a mutiny of mutants who have been a nuisance. <laughs> so mute them. <laughs> and a mutiny of mutants. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god. I cannot get over how amazing the lines in this song are and I'm not gonna catch all of them in this first viewing in this first impression it's just so bloody good holy crap the green green's dead is bleeding heads in the infirmary bleeding heads literally to determine what we should do but everyone speaks in mutant there's been a mutiny of mutants who have been a nuisance so we need scrutiny to foresee which means a human it's either me or you people of you can see the truth look me thinks the lady don't bleed it just a wee bit too much nice Nice. My camera running out of power. Pausing. Sorry, I had to pause there for a second. My camera's battery was dying. Where were we? <laughs> oh, I'm a thing now. Nice. I'm guessing that's where the ending changes. <laughs> Question mark? Ah, that's excellent. Hello, thanks for watching, and a massive thanks to all my incredible patrons for making this project possible. Uh, and a big thanks to Damble for being involved in this project too. If you head over to his channel, you can see the alternate ending. Ooh, what could happen? Yes, let's do that now. Click on the button. Eh. All right. Dan Bull's logo first, and then the stupendium. 
I'm sure the song is the same from the start. Yes. Let's jump down here. I like the idea that we'll be the, uh, the crewmate choosing. Different arm. <laughs> He's the one left, so he gets to play. <laughs> nice. That's interesting. Because, like, in the verses, I kind of felt like Dan was the imposter. Uh, and in both versions... Uh, Stupendium was the imposter. It said zero imposters remain and then question mark on his. On this one it just says one remains. Uh, Dan Bull was not an imposter and Stupendium was. And yet his his verses seemed more sus to me than Stupendium's. That's interesting. Float away. With the button for the loo and uh, and that, ball, roll. that was the Stupendium. Subscribe to us both. Become a patron to get your name in the credits. And <laughs> listen on Spotify. Bye. <laughs> Short and to the point. <laughs> so yeah, that is the uh, an imposter calls by Stupendium and Dan Bull. Both endings. Uh, fantastic song. Like, one of the best ones I've seen from the both of them. And getting them together just absolutely crushed it it's fantastic so uh all of that out of the way if you liked uh, these videos please like share comment subscribe let me know what songs that you would like me to react to and uh maybe uh follow me on patreon where your support can help me make more videos like this plus my own music and videos as well uh all of that out of the way obviously support these artists check out the links to the original songs in the description below and we'll see you next time happy new year Bye. Remember the original TMNT, that tune based on that toy property? That itself was based on a comic? Now stick with me here, I'm staying on topic. The show you see had amphibious foes, trained by Shredder. And it is those particular leaping guys, and I'll mention that for this verse, crave all your attention. I'm speaking, of course, about the punk frogs, taken from Florida's swampiest bogs.